guys, it's Heather from Cal of the Plan. I'm here today planning in a mini happy planner that I use as a gratitude journal. I got this planner from Hobby Lobby. It's an undated mini planner. I added this quote to the cover. It says, there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. And this quote really inspired the whole purpose of this mini planner. I use this mini planner as a gratitude journal. So what that means is since October, um, I started on October 3rd, every day I have written one thing that I am thankful for or grateful for or even just something that made me happy that day. I usually do it at the end of the day. Um, uh, most of the time this planner is kept on my side table in my bedroom and um, I just pull it out um, right before I go to bed and I just quickly jot down one thing that um, made me happy that day or one thing that I was grateful for from that day. So it's just, um, it's been a really great way to really focus on the positive things that I have in my life um, and to not get caught up so much in the negative. Because even if you've had a bad day, there was at least one thing um, from that day that you were thankful for, that you could be thankful for, or at least one thing that made you happy, even if it's something little. So um, anyway, that's what I've been using this planner for. So today is Monday. February 6th, um, so I will be filling this in starting tonight. Um, so this week is already planned, but I wanted to go ahead and plan next week or decorate next week just so you can kind of see how I set up this um, gratitude journal in case it's something that you are interested in starting. Um, so I'm gonna pull the pages off of the discs and um, this month in, in this planner, um, we have dark pink, light pink, this beautiful teal that kind of fades into a mint. So those are kind of the colors that are present on the page. And I really like to play off of the colors that are already on the page. Um, so a lot of this month has been pink and blue. Um, these are technically color in markers, um, but they have like a brush tip. You see how they have that brush tip? I got these at Michael's in a pack of, um, I want to say like maybe eight or nine. They're called Marvy Color In Markers. Um, these actually match the colors perfectly of the coloring planner, um, but I like to use them in this planner a lot too because I think the colors match really well. So since this is an undated planner, the first thing that I do every week is I write the dates at the top and then I write them on each day. So. I'm going to use this like a brush tip, which means that your down strokes you press down to make them thick, and your up strokes you keep them thinner. Um, so I'm just going to write, I'm writing February right now, since this is the month of February. And again, I don't think that this marker was necessarily. Um, meant to be a brush marker. I think it's actually a marker that you're just supposed to color with, but I use it as a brush marker. So February, and then just to double check myself that I get the right day, I always flip back. So this is the 12th, which means that this will be the 13th. So on this side, I write 13. And then I usually write out the word through. And then I like to just double check myself. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So then I'm gonna write 19 here. So this blue really helps to tie in kind of this blue here, but I also want some of this pink. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to number these over here, but I don't wanna make them super thick because I do still want to have room to write. So I'm going to write 13 here. I'm going to skip this line and I'm going to write 15 here. Now the reason I skipped is because I do still want to tie in the blue. So I'm going to put, go back and do 14 with the blue. And then here I'm going to do 16. Now normally you would think that since it was pink, blue, pink, blue, that this should be pink. 
Um, I'm going to show you why this is actually going to be a blue number and not a pink number. So if I flip back, you'll notice here that these two numbers are opposite colors. So it's blue, pink, blue, pink, and you would think this would be blue, but I actually made it pink. And that's because side by side, I think it looks better um, that it's the opposite colors. Whereas the week before, I messed up and I didn't do it that way, and so it's pink, blue, pink, which looks fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but my personal preference is I like it to be mixed up like that, which is why um, I'm going to go blue again here. It's just a personal preference. There's no wrong way to do it. So then I'm going to take the pink and now I am done. That's all I'm going to do with these brush markers. So I'm done with those. So now I don't do a lot of decoration in this planner because it's mostly a journal. Um, I journal in it every day. But I never use this note section or the word of the week. So this is the one place where I do put stickers. So I'm going to go, I think that this watercolor page might have some stickers that will look really good with this watercolor over here. So I'm just going to flip through and look for, I'm looking for a box sticker, um, which now that I'm in here, I'm wondering if this sticker book even has box stickers. I'm pretty sure it does. Um, but maybe not. Yes, here's some. So I have this blue, which would be cute. Um, and I can easily turn that one sideways. So I'm gonna pull out this blue. And these boxes fit almost perfectly in the note section. So I'm just gonna lay that down. And now I still have this space here and I really need to tie in some pink. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this pink and white stripe. I'm going to cut off that white end just because I don't really need it. And I'm actually going to do it just like that. Now, I'm not too crazy about that, but I'm not done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in just some motivational type quote stickers. So that one says start today. It ties in that blue from over here, it ties it over here. I'm gonna add in this pink heart. And then I think I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this one, I'm gonna stick it here, and then I really love this one that says be happy today, and I'm going to put it like that. Okay, I feel like I need maybe one more sticker. Um, but I'm going to come back to that. So now I have these icon stickers, which I like to put, um, just as, I just love the bullet points, I guess. And this is kind of gives me a place to start writing. And it also just adds in, um, more color. So I'm putting the pink stickers next to the blue. And then I'm going to take these blue stickers and put those next to the pink. And I'm just kind of um, looking now just to see if there's, I really like this sticker right here. It says a happy life. 
it's obviously too big to put like this, but you can cut them. I love cutting stickers to make them fit where I want them. So now I have three stickers and I'm going to lay this happy down and the life underneath it. And I'm not even going to put the A. I don't think it's really needed. Just happy life. Um, and I really like the be happy today and the happy life because I think the point of this gratitude journal is to really focus on the happy and the positive. Um, so I kind of like that that ties in there. So that's all I do to decorate this planner. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of sticking to this color scheme this month because I have the pink and blue here. This is a lot of pink here. Um, I don't always stick to that same color scheme, but I think that the border on this paper just makes it easy to do in this planner. So. Now I'm already ready for the 13th through the 19th. Um, that means I have two weeks prepped and ready to go. And I'm excited to start today, see what happiness comes from the day so that I can fill this in before I go to bed. Um, I just really love using this planner this way. I think it is a it shows that you can use planners as journals. They don't have to be used as planners. And it's just another fun way um, to get the best use out of your planners. So um, if you like what you saw, I hope that you'll hit that like button. And if you wanna see more, I, hit, I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button and join me again for some more videos. Um, I hope that you learned something today that you can use in your own planners and happy planning.